Hiya boys and girls, I'm going to do a review on Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean running on my Nexus S. Now, we've all seen Jelly Bean running on the Nexus 7 and the Galaxy Nexus, but nobody really does it on the Nexus S, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd show it to you. And it's actually quite impressive. You know, I mean, the Nexus S comes with a 1 GHz Hummingbird processor, single core, and 5 12 megabytes of RAM, so you know, not by any means a high end device for these days, but it was when it came out. Um, I'll start off firstly by showing you the version Android 4.1.1. If you can see that there, you tap it and you get your Easter egg eventually. Yay, Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. Yay. Right. Um, it runs, from my experience, my testing of it, really well. Um, if you've ever used Ice Cream Sandwich on the Nexus S, it was a bit janky, uh, to use Google's words. Um, it's not anymore. I mean, there's hardly any lag, and this is a single core processor, so, I mean, it's very quick. It just flicks through these pages, and it... Uh, if you can see that, apparently, it, I mean, it's called Project Butter, what they've done to it, and it makes the phone run at 60 frames per second the whole time, which gives the user a much nicer experience with the whole thing, uh, which is true. Um, I'm just going to show you the browser, because the browser is a much improved thing, and it's loading in Gadget now, which is quite a heavy site, so that's good. If you can remember the browser normally, um, I mean, it was very slow. I mean, it's still loading here, and I I can pinch to zoom. And I mean, look at that. That is very responsive. You know, it's very good. It's finished. It's finished loading now. Um, I mean, if you go fast, I mean, I mean that's not bad, is it? And you can see it's white there. It has to reload, but otherwise, it's um, pretty good. Let's cl let's find an article here. A great pinch to zoom response response here. It's um it's perfect really. Um let's try another site, what do we want? The Verge. Again we've gone to the mobile website. We'll move over to the desktop one. Okay, let's do it using this. There we go. You can see, I mean, it's not the quickest phone at loading, but I mean, it is a two year old device. Um, I mean, this is taking quite a while. I am on Wi Fi, which is a 40 meg connection, so it's not exactly slow. I mean, actually, it's never this slow, so I don't know what's quite happened here. Okay, all right, there we go. It's not as responsive now. You can see as it's still loading, it's slowing down, but actually it's caught up now. And it's That's pretty good. And it's still loading, as you can see. Um, not bad, though. Not Brad Bowser performance. I mean, if this is how good it is now, and this is quite a heavy operating system on the new phones, and when the new version comes out, it's going to fly, um, which is great to see. Other stuff with Jelly Bean, obviously, there's Google Now, which I actually do use um, quite a bit. 18 minutes to work, it tells you the temperature of where you're at. It's obviously the voice, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, what else comes up on it? Uh, if you go to settings, this is quite hard to see on the white background. Settings, Google Now. They've updated it recently, so you can choose your favorite sport teams. 
and on the day it will come up with their who they're playing and the live updates of the scores so that's good we've also updated it to do movies so when you're near a cinema um, a card will appear with information on that movie theatre like uh, the times I haven't actually got a chance to use that part of it yet but I assume it works um, alright let's try the voice recognition I'll do the standard I think who is the president of the United States You see it brings up a nice card with a picture and information here. Um, if you're in America, you'll get a much nicer voice than this kind of posh British voice that you have here, which is a bit robotic. I actually prefer the American accent voice. Um, you can get it on this, but it means you have to set your whole language to US, which if you use Google Maps can be a bit annoying. Um, oh, what else have we got here? Um, how tall is the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet tall. You have to be, it's not like Siri, you have to be quite specific in what you'd say. So, for example, if you, um, if you said maybe how big is the Eiffel Tower, and why not get anything? How, how big is the Eiffel Tower? See, that's, hold on. How big is the Eiffel Tower? See, now because I didn't say how tall and it didn't understand it, it's just going to default to a Google search instead of bringing up that nice card. So you have to be pretty specific in what you say. Um, so you might be asking it three or four things. But the actual Google Now implementation without this, they're just telling you bus stops and movie times, all that is, is great stuff, really. Um, what else have we got with gingerbread? Not gingerbread, sorry, jelly bean. Uh, the camera. The camera's always a good one to go to. Not much has really changed in its UI. Um, what you can now do, which is nice, is a swipe across just from there and um, you get your pictures basically and if you do that you get well, if you do that you get a view of all of them which you can pan through and you can actually this is quite difficult to do for a camera lens but Alright, if you do that, you swipe up, you can delete, but you can undo it and bring it back. That is properly deleted, but you can, it will bring it back if you want to undo it by mistake, for example. Notifications is a big one that's changed. You can see this is different. A much bigger time and date here, uh, settings here, much cleaner. Um, when you get a notification, which I don't have at the moment, annoyingly, you can uh, expand them using a two-finger gesture, which gives you more information on the on the actual notification itself, which I think is is pretty useful. Um, what have we got in settings that's changed? They now instead of in accounts, you get all your different syncs. They don't put it all in one bit, so you got all your Google stuff, SkyDrive, Twitter, Voxer, if you use it, Facebook, WhatsApp. Uh, all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, nothing's changed. You got the data usage, but this was the same in ice cream sandwich if you've used that. Um, so there's not much difference there. I mean, Jelly Bean is an incremental update. Um, its main thing is the smoothness of the OS. It, it really brought it up to standard, I think. Um, which is what it needed to be because everyone always complained about lag lag all this stuff with android handsets um, and to be honest sometimes they can bog down and Jelly Bean really fights against any of that it hardly does it anymore um, which is 
fantastic. Um, the gallery, what have we got in the gallery? I don't think the gallery's changed much. You can see, just when I open that, the transition, it comes in from the corner. And it's, I mean, it's very quick to open an app there. What are the transitions? To, I mean, if you go and open the phone dialer, it's very quick, it comes up from the corner, loads all your your friends and pictures, and you know, the transitions are quick, disappear, go. It's just very smooth. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run a benchmark, which is Valemo, which is actually a Qualcomm-based benchmark, so it's a bit biased to Qualcomm-based chips, um, but it measures user experience. And this is quite interesting because you can see what the Nexus was like before Jelly Bean and after. So I'm just going to run this now. And for some reason that I haven't figured out, it never does the last test quite right. It fails on the network test, which I haven't figured out why. Um, which is annoying because it puts my score down a little bit more than it should be. Um, but you'll see it. Feel free to skip through this because I know watching benchmarks is pretty pointless and everyone just wants to see the score. So, yeah. <laughs> Just while this is going on, I can't wait for the next Nexus device to come out, which we don't know much about. Apparently there might be five being released, but nobody really knows. Um, different from different like OEMs and stuff, but I just don't know what will happen with that. I will be getting the new device, so look out for that review if you want to look at it. Yeah. Oh, come on, benchmark. By the way, if you want to, um, me to do any other benchmarks on this Nexus S with Jelly Bean, feel free to comment and I'll do a video doing the benchmarks. Everyone usually wants Quadrant, but Quadrant, um, you know, it can be manipulated. Um, as can they all, really. Um, but if you want to see it, I will show you. So we are at oh, seven out of eleven tests, and it fails on the eleventh one anyway. But I will get a score. So yeah, I mean. Don't forget, this is uh, one of the last single core phones to be released for Android, really. Well, especially the Nexus line after the Galaxy Nexus was a 1.2 gigahertz dual core. Um, I think this does very well with 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, which always shocks me because, I mean, if you look at HTC Desire HD, that recently got told that it wasn't getting the uh, ICS, ICS or Jelly Bean, yeah, the ICS update because it couldn't handle it, even though the Desire HD has more memory than this and a similar processor. So, I mean, that's how much like HTC Sense can bog down a phone. Um, they just couldn't, they couldn't fit it on it, they couldn't do it. So, you know, it's disappointing for those phones, which is why I always tend to stick with the Nexuses because the Nexuses always get the latest updates. Oh, this is the one it's going to crash on, but uh, we will get a score, nonetheless. You can see my uh, camera light there.
If there's anything else you want to know about jelly bean, just let me know in the comments and I'll uh, I'll let you know. If enough people know, I'll do another video on something. Or just different phones, if you want different phones. I mean, I've got a S3 as well, which we'll be getting jelly bean very soon, see it failed there. So what we've got here is 986. Now, I've actually seen it go to about a thousand, so we'll, uh, we'll press yes to this, get the graph out. And I mean, you can see what it says here, your score, whoops, your score there, above things like the Asus Transformer, the Zoom, the Galaxy S2, all, all of these with dual core processors, and it's all because of software optimizations of Jelly Bean. I mean, that's. I mean, you can see there it doesn't have that network portion, so it would be a little bit. It probably would even be higher than the Galaxy Note 2 on 2.3. Originally, when it was on 2.3, you can see the where is it? The Nexus S scores. There it is. There, which is what is that? It scores about 600. So it's gone up about 400 points just because of software optimization. It's impressive. Um, you get task manager, all that good stuff running at 60 frames per second with no real hiccups, you can see, um, which is fantastic. All right, okay, that was my uh, review on Jelly Bean on my Nexus S. Um, if you liked my reviews, please rate, comment and subscribe. Um, I will be putting more reviews up um, very soon. I have an S3, so that when that gets Jelly Bean, I will be reviewing Jelly Bean on that and I expect it to be amazing because the S3 is already amazing. Um, yeah, All right. thanks a lot, see you later.